Good afternoon, Quadcopter101 here. Hey, I've re uh, received some requests for uh, showing how to hook up the gimbal system on the X380. In particular, this is that cheap $45 gimbal system that I got here. And how did I hook it up to my X380? Well, first things you got to know about for hooking this up, particularly the electrical connection, is you have to know what these pin pinouts are on the quadcopter. Um, thanks to Sebi Docky who documented this on RC groups, but the pins that you'll need to know is the plus and minus 12 volt pins, and it goes from front to back. The first pin from the front is the negative ground for the 12 volts, and the second pin is the plus 12 volts for the system. These other pins here are plus or minus 5 volts. They have nothing to do with our gimbal. Okay, this is if we want to hook up something like a an FPV system or run a separate power system to a, a camera that requires a separate power system. But in our case, we're not using the 5 volts. So leave them, those slots empty. Don't plug anything in there. And finally, the one that's really important to us for the X380 is the signal pin. And that's the one all the way in the back of the quadcopter. Now that signal pin is only for pitch commands. Um, this the uh, X380 does not have a, a signal out for controlling uh, roll. We only control pitch up or otherwise up and down movement of the uh, gimbal by moving the transmitter's uh, roll switch up and down, or clockwise and counterclockwise. So again, the only pins that we're going to worry about for hooking up to our gimbal system is the negative ground, all the way, which is all the way forward, the plus 12 volts. To power the gimbal and to power the the uh, pitch and roll or the pitch primarily the pitch command and the signal that tells the uh, gimbal to uh, move up and down to pitch it up and down okay now with that in mind the kit that comes with this gimbal system comes with a universal cable uh, that I've used but uh, it's kind of sloppy the way I set it up actually <laughs> Okay, you have to use it, take care of the color code and maintain this color code throughout your hookup here. Uh, of course, I used the black for the ground that runs to the 12 volt. I used the minus or the white to uh, run to the plus 12 volt and I connected the black to a the black connector wire that runs into this uh, power that goes into the circuit board and I connected the white into the other end of the uh, red connector wire which connects into this plug which goes into the circuit board. The signal wire, let me turn the quadcopter over to show you where the signal wire goes. Let's make sure this stays in picture. And hopefully you'll be able to see this. All the way in the back Okay, there's there's two rows of, of three pins each. The top pin, or the one closest to the quadcopter on, on both of these, one of them controls pitch, is it takes the signal for the pitch command, and one of them takes the signal for the roll command. Uh, the way that I have it set up here, the most forward, the one pointing toward uh, the uh, gimbal motors, uh, is and the top one is for the signal that takes the signal for the pitch command. I do not have to hook up any ground wire or any power, additional power out wires to this uh, these pins. Only one pin is connected, and that's the top signal pin on this one here. You'll, you'll notice you got something wrong if you put it on the top pin, and instead of controlling pitch, you're controlling roll. So you know you need to, go, to put that uh, cable on the others. Do not connect any other wires up to these uh, lower two uh, pins. They're not needed for the X380 hookup with this gimbal system. And more or less, that's it in a nutshell. I'll show you how it operates. Okay, I'll turn on the transmitter. Yeah, so you can see the pitch roll knob there, or the pitch knob. Now I'm going to plug in the power to the quadcopter. And you wait a few seconds for the uh, gyros to stabilize. And if it starts off with a downward pitch like that, unplug. And 
try to recenter that again and you do have to have a camera when you're do on attached to this when you're doing this because the weight of the camera system um, is a comp is compensated for with the gyros if you don't put a camera on there you're going to get severe vibrations and in this case it levels off now we're going to test whether the pitch command works by turning this up and we see that it's working now again there's only three wires that you connect up and that's the signal wire and the power wire wires you know minus and plus black and red power wires do not mix those up if you do you could burn out both either the circuit board on this gimbal system or the circuit worse yet the circuit board inside the quadcopter that would be very bad <laughs> so try you have to maintain um, those color codes and where those wires go so that's in an effect that's how you hook up the uh, electrical system for the gimbal hope this is of some help I'll include some other uh, links with this video down in the video information sec section to show how to configure this uh, gimbal for different weight cameras. Um, again, this gimbal is, when it comes out of the factory, it's uh, been configured for GoPro, heavier GoPro camera. You can use lighter cameras. You just have to adjust some of the settings, and I'll include links uh, that show how to do that, uh, particularly the power setting of this. Uh, you got to lower the power setting for the lighter weight cameras. Okay, this is Quadcopter 101. I hope this helps some. Quadcopter 101, signing out.